So in this video, we will learn how to set up webhook in Zoom. So a lot of customers were facing issue while adding the webhook URL in the Zoom application. So in this video, I will explain the complete process, a step-by-step -step guide that how you can add webhook URL in Zoom. And after that, we will set up a simple, a basic automation using Public Connect that whenever we will create a new meeting, a new meeting will be created in Zoom account, automatically the details of that meeting will be added into a Google Sheet. So creation of meeting will be the trigger of this automation which we are going to create in this video and the action will be the addition of meeting details into Google Sheet. Now how to add the webhook URL? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we will go to a browser and search for pabbly, pabbly.com slash connect. So after reaching to the landing page of Pabbly Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabbly Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign into my own Pabbly Connect account. After signing in, you will reach to this All Apps page. Here, just click on Access Now below Pabbly Connect. After that, we can see that now we have reached to the Pabbly Connect dashboard. And in this dashboard, we just have to click on Create Workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name this workflow as Zoom Webhook to Google Sheets and click on Create. Just a second. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window. Second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first using the webhook URL, which we will get in this public connect workflow, using that webhook URL, we will add and connect Zoom with public connect. So let's do it. So let's search for Zoom over here. That is Zoom. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, we will select configure webhook. Now, as we select configure webhook, we have received the webhook URL in public connect workflow. Just copy this webhook URL and now let's finally learn how to add the webhook URL in Zoom. Now to do so, we will go to a Zoom account. So this is the, for example, the meeting page of my Zoom account. After reaching to this page on the left side, we can see several options. And in the admin section, we have an option, the last option named as advanced. Click on advanced. And after that, here we have an option of app marketplace. So I will open, I will click on this, open this app marketplace in a new tab. So we have opened the app marketplace, Zoom app marketplace. After reaching to this app marketplace, on the right side, we have this develop option. And as we hover on it, we have a drop down with some options over here, out of which we have to click on build app. Now, as we click on build app, we have reached to this choose your app type page. So here we have to basically build an app inside Zoom and we are at this page, we have to select what is the type of app that we are building. So we are building a webhook only app. So we have to select webhook only and just click on create button over here. And then it is asking us for the name of our app. For example, I would like to name my webhook app as Pavli. So I'll name it Pavli and click on create. After clicking on create, it is asking us some details like the company name, name, email address, and other details. So for example, I'll enter the company name as Pavli Connect. This is my company name, Pavli Connect. Then let me add my name as, that's Ashi. This is the email address. So basically we just have to enter some basic details like the developer's contact information, the basic company information and other details. These are just simple details guys. And after entering that, just click on continue. Now, as we click on continue, we can see that a new na app named as Pabli is created over here. And after the creating the app, it is asking us in the bottom section, we can see an option named as event subscription. We will just turn this button on. We will just turn it to the right side and then we can see an add event subscription option over here. So we have to basically add this webhook URL. Just click on this add event subscription. Then it is asking us subscription name. So we would like to name this subscription as, for example, Pabli webhook. So this is the name of this subscription. And then it is asking us event notification endpoint URL. So this is the final step guys, where we have to add the webhook URL which we have received from public connect over here. So we have copied this webhook URL from public connect 
And now in Zoom at this place, we have to paste this webhook URL and add it. So using this webhook URL, we will be connecting Zoom account with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, let's click on this add event section. Now it is asking us event type that in the Zoom is asking us basically for which event, for what event we want Zoom to send details to this webhook URL using to Pavli Connect using this webhook URL. Now here we have, we have several event types like meeting related events, webinar related events, recording related events and other events as well. And here on the right section, like for example, if it's like meeting related events, we have the starting of meeting, end of meeting, participant join and lots and lots of events over here. So just for an example, we will take an event as meeting is created. So I want whenever a new meeting is created in my Zoom account, the details of that newly created meeting should be sent to Pavli Connect using the webhook URL which we are adding. So the topic of the today's video is addition of webhook URL and Zoom. So this is how we add the webhook URL and this is how you will select the event that for what event you want to receive the data. So for I want to receive the data of meeting has been created whenever a meeting is created. I have selected this event. You can basically select more than one event according to your choice. After selecting the event, just click on done. And as we click on done, after that, just click on save. And we will see that we have successfully created an event subscription. So first we have created a webhook app in Zoom. First we went to Zoom account, then we go to Zoom marketplace. There we have built an app named as Pabli. For example, I named this app as Pabli. Then after building the app, here we have added an event subscription to that app. And here in event subscription section, we have added the webhook URL and selected the event for which event we want Zoom to send data to this webhook URL. After doing all of this, just click on continue. And that's it. Your app is activated on the account. So it is showing us that the app which we have just now created using some simple steps is now activated, which means our Zoom account is now successfully got connected with Pavli Connect using the webhook URL. So this is how you add webhook URL in your Zoom account. Now this connection is completed. Now we will be testing this connection once. So here in Pavli Connect, we will see that it is showing us waiting for webhook response, which means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some details, some data from Zoom using this webhook URL. So we have added this webhook URL for new meeting created. So we will be creating a new meeting in our Zoom account. Let's click on schedule a meeting button. Then let's give meeting a topic, for example, developers conference. Okay, so this is just a simple dummy meeting which we are creating. So developers conference is the name of the meeting. The date of the meeting is for example, 22nd of August and the time is for example, we will select 3 p.m. The duration of meeting is of one hour. So this is the one hour meeting. After that, we have to select the time zone. So the time zone is Asia, Kolkata, basically Mumbai, Kolkata, New Delhi. That is time zone of India. I am right now here in India. So we will select this time zone. Then it is asking meeting ID and other details regarding the meeting. So we just have don't have to make any changes over here right now. You can basically make according to your choice. So we are creating a meeting by the name of developer conference for 22nd of August 3 p.m. So we will just scroll down and click on save. And now we can see that the meeting is now created. A meeting is now scheduled in our Zoom account. And because we have connected Zoom with Pavli Connect using this webhook URL, which we have learned how to add this webhook URL in this video, because they, we have made the connection and the event was meeting created. If you remember while adding the uh, webhook URL, we have selected meeting is created as an event. So because we have added this webhook URL, we will see that the details or the data of this new meeting creation will be sent to Pavli Connect. So let's go back to Pavli Connect workflow. And yes, guys, we can see that in Pavli Connect, we have received a response. And this response is of the event of meeting created of a new meeting creation in Zoom. Then after that, we will scroll down. We will see that we have the details of the meeting, like the name of the meeting, that what is the title or topic of the meeting is. Then we have the start date and time that at what date and time the meeting will start. And guys, the date and time which we have received in Pavli Connect is basically in UTC time format. So here in important note, we can see that time zone from Zoom will be in UTC format only. So here the start time or the end date on time of the meeting which we receive from Zoom in Pavli Connect, this time is in UTC for time format. 
that's why we have selected the time of 3 pm in zoom while creating the meeting but in the response we can see 9:30 am as time this is because this time is in utc time format and the indian standard time is 5:30 hours ahead of utc time format then we have the duration of the meeting that what is the time duration of that meeting then we have the meeting joint link then we have the time zone of our zoom account so don't get confused between these two this is the time zone of our zoom account in what time zone we have created the meeting and we have received the start date and time from zoom in utc time format so this is how the zoom sends the response so we have received the response of new meeting creation from zoom in public connect using the webhook url which we have learned how to add it in our zoom account after that suppose i want to add these details in a google sheet i want to add the details of every new meeting creating in my zoom account into a google sheet now for that using public connect we will just scroll down and come to this action window and here in choose app we will search for google sheets google sheets it is then in action event from the drop down we have to select add new row because we want to add a new row of details in google sheet click on connect and select add new connection now here we have to connect our google sheets account with public connect and to make this connection we will click on connect with google sheets select your google sheets account scroll down and click on continue and that's it guys as we click on continue we can see that a google sheets account is now successfully got connected with public connect after that we'll scroll down and in select spreadsheet section in the drop down we can see a list of all the spreadsheets which we have created in our google sheets account can be seen over here so here from this drop down we have to select in which spreadsheet we want to add these details so the spreadsheet which i have created is named as new meeting details and in this spreadsheet i want to add three basic details of the new meetings which we are creating in my zoom account the meeting name meeting start time and meeting duration so we will select new meeting details this spreadsheet from the drop down select the spreadsheet and then it is asking us to select the sheet so in select sheet we can see that in this spreadsheet i have only one sheet named as sheet 1 so here we will select sheet 1 from the drop down by default then it is asking us meeting name meeting start time and meeting duration basically the columns which we have created in our google sheet of for new data the same column can be seen in public connect so in, in the meeting name column i want to add the d, the name of the meeting and we have received the name of the meeting that date start time of meeting and the duration all these three details from zoom using the webhook response so from the responses of zoom we have to basically map this response which we have received in from zoom in public connect over here in this field and guys the process of mapping is very simple simply click on this field of meeting name and from the drop down below from the responses of zoom select the response of meeting name and map it so in this way we have mapped the meeting name in this field then for the start time follow the same process of mapping from the drop down select the response of start time and as well as the duration as well so we have mapped the duration also now after mapping all of these details just click on save and send test request now as we click on save and send test request we can see that we have received a response over here and this response seems to be a very positive response to us this response shows that the details which we have mapped over here basically the details of new meeting creation from zoom which we have received in public connect using the webhook url response are now added in our google sheets so let's check our google sheet and yes guys we can see that developer conference the same meeting which we have created in our zoom account the details of same meeting is now added in google sheet so we have the same meeting name we have the start date and time of the same meeting in utc format and we also have the meeting duration if you want using the date time format operation in public connect you can change the time zone of the start date and time in public connect workflow as well and after changing the time zone you can add that data in google sheet so guys this is it we have successfully connected zoom with public connect using the webhook url so in this video we basically learned how to add webhook url in zoom so we have to basically create an app we have to basically build an app in zoom and after building the app we have to add the webhook url in that app so this is it for today's video guys but first let's understand in brief how we set up the webhook url in zoom and how we created this workflow 
So first we have created a workflow in Pavli Connect and in this workflow we have selected Zoom as a trigger application and configure webhooks was a trigger event. Then Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now then we copied the webhook URL from Pavli Connect. We went to Zoom, we went to advanced section and then we went to Zoom Marketplace. After reaching to the Zoom Marketplace, we hovered on this develop option, clicked on build app, gave this app a name. And then select, we have selected that this app is a webhook only app. Then we have basically added some kind of event subscription and the webhook URL and that app. And then we have com completed the app setup. Then we can see that our app is now activated in our account. After seeing this, or the whatever the event you have selected in event subscription on the happening on the on the occurring of that event, Zoom will send the data to webhook URL and we will see that data to sent to webhook url over here in Pavli connect so guys this is it for today's video thank you if you need any kind of help or have any queries you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli connects pricing at this link so if this video was helpful to you you can like this video don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration you can subscribe to Pavli. thank you have a nice day